So how are you? Very good. Can you introduce yourself quickly? So my name is Ali Arena. Uh, I'm English. Uh, right now I live in Panama City and now I'm a member of uh, Grand Camp. Uh, what do you do for a living? So right now I, I work for many years at Adidas, at the headquarters, and two years ago I left to continue my education and then I had an idea during that education that I wanted to explore and I developed my own startup. So it's a startup in the sports industry and for the last year I've tried to promote that business and try and learn the skills necessary to make that business come, become a reality. Have you been to some kind of experiences similar to Grand Camp before? Nothing similar to this. I've done a lot of great things and a lot of educational things and I'm always trying to try things new but I can honestly say I've never um, done co-living and co-working in this kind of environment. Uh, so this is definitely a new experience for me. What were your expectations before coming here? My main expectation was just to learn as much as possible. So that's what I've been doing the last two years, is trying to learn new skills, trying to learn Spanish, trying to need, learn everything I needed to get better. And so I knew here I'd have access to lots of different people who are experts. And so my main expectation was just to try and learn as much as possible. And how do you feel right now about the whole experience? It's been very interesting. There's been some highs and some lows, and some, it's been um, very important to try and collaborate together. Um, and I think we, we definitely learnt a lot, um, so I feel very positive about it um, because I think I personally I got a lot of what I wanted and a lot of my expectations were met. And what are you going to take from Grand Camp? Uh, well, there's a lot of, on a smaller level, there's a lot of little decisions which I'm going to change uh, about my business and about think decisions I'm going to make, so there's loads of little things. But also, it's on a, on a bigger level, I think I've got a much bigger appreciation for co-living and uh, co-working environment. And I think I now place a much more a bigger value on um, surrounding myself with people who I can constantly come to when I, when I need something or I need someone to listen to an idea. Um, and I think I need to, to get that more in my normal life. Uh, so that's probably the thing I'm going to take the most from the experience. And what you're going to miss the most and what you're not missing at all? I'm definitely going to miss Nicaragua, it's my first time being here and it's a very beautiful country and I, uh, I love it a lot. Uh, and I just think I'm going to miss um, waking up in the morning surrounded by other people who are, who are also working, like it's a cool environment to kind of wake up in so I think it's nice to wake up in an environment surrounded by people instead of just waking up alone and yeah, I think that's a cool thing. And what you're not going to miss? Uh, I'm not going to miss having such little control over like the living environment, you know, it's, it's naturally like when you put so many people into a small pace, you get a little bit of conflict and things like that, so I think that's the kind of thing when I go home, uh, it will be really relaxing. Do you regret doing something or not doing something? Uh, I think I regret not spending more time with each individual person earlier on. I think it would have been a lot more beneficial instead of waiting uh, on being maybe a little bit shy and uh, I think time here goes really fast so I wish on the first day I'd just taken the time to really sit down with everyone and get them to know them better. Regret doing something? Regret doing something. Uh, Sunday fun day? No, I don't know. Not really. I don't really regret anything. So. What was your favourite day in Grand Camp? I had a... Uh, a really great experience of the volunteering. Uh, I found it like really interesting to try and use our collaboration and our knowledge here in, in somewhere like that. Uh, and then afterwards we went to like it's such a beautiful part of the world and I thought that was a really nice experience and a great example of like what can happen when all of us work together uh, to help someone outside and someone in our local community. So that was a really positive experience. And the worst day? Uh, I think the, the day before last when it started coming to an end and there was a little bit of confusion about um, expectations and things and I think there was a little bit of miscommunication and everyone was a little bit down uh, and I found that really tough because we've had so many good times here it felt like a real shame that um, people fell down at the end so yeah I think that was that was tough to see how it was all coming to an end. What would it change for the next Grand Camp? I think um, in the beginning there needs to be a really clear uh, demonstration of what Grind Camp is, something really inspirational like of what they want to achieve. 
and then also just some some kind of loose structure and uh, and helping people to connect in easier ways because I think it's really natural that people stick to their own groups and their own best friends and their own people who share the same passions and I actually think that's the the, the one thing grind camp shouldn't be because that's what you have in the normal world where grind camp should be is everyone working together no matter who they are uh, and so I think the one thing uh, that could be changed is, is more uh, forced collaboration uh, to get people to come out of their shells and get out of the, the things that they normally do in their lives back home. If you have to describe Grand Camp in one word, what word? Experiment. Do you have something to tell to Maria and Mark? So Maria and Mark, just uh, one, thank you for the experience uh, and two, congratulations on doing something that was truly um, a big risk because it's never easy. I think one thing that we've all got in common is that all of us have taken a big risk to kind of break out of the norm and that's a really difficult thing to do and I think this is like that. Building this was a huge risk uh, and that's never easy uh, so I think they should be really proud of, of what they've done and uh, I'm just really happy that I've been able to be a part of it and I think as time goes by uh, we'll get to see later on the benefits of it and maybe we're too close to it now but I, I feel really positive that over the next two months, three months, six months and a year plus we're going to see some really cool things that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Grand Camp. Did you build any relationships here? Absolutely, many many relationships. Um, so it, you know like I say it took, took me a little bit more time because I came in the middle so I think whenever you do that already the bonds have already been made so it's a little bit, it takes a little bit longer but as time has gone on I've made, made, managed to make some really good friendships uh, and also partnerships here so yeah I've been really, the one thing I've been really happy with is the diversity of the group uh, and so yeah I, I can honestly say that there's, there's people here who I've met who I know I'm going to stay in touch with and there's, there's people who here if I have a new idea or a new problem with my business I know I can pick up the phone and ring them and which is a which is a really awesome thing to have. Do you have something to tell to the grinders? Uh, the one thing I just wanted to, to tell them is, is I hope that they um, leave with just such a positive experience from it and uh, I only did two weeks and that feels like a long time so I'm very impressed with them for four weeks I think that's a really cool thing maybe they don't even realize it now so I think it's uh, it's it's something that they should be proud of as well because most people although you look at the pictures this looks like paradise for other people this would be their worst nightmare sharing kitchens with strangers and stuff like that people don't do it so they should also be proud of themselves that they've taken a risk and they've done something and uh, they may not realize it now but sometime in the future they'll look back and think wow that was really crazy and what an original experiences and original experiences are really rare now uh, and they've all done one so they should be really happy with that beautiful thanks for all thanks for being being here, like giving me some nice hands and collaborating with everybody. I've enjoyed every minute, so thank you.